I2B2 is a national center for biomedical computing. Our goal is to instrument the healthcare enterprise so that we can use the informational byproducts of healthcare delivery to conduct discovery and research in the genomic era. We describe here two sets of our tools. The first is the I2B2 clinical research chart, the web interface, which is shown here, which allows us to select populations based on a variety of criteria from both codified and uncodified data using natural language processing, combined in a Boolean fashion as shown here. These queries, once run, result in patient populations, which on the left can be selected using tools on the top right so that you can conduct exploratory data analysis to determine whether the data is of sufficient interest to invest the effort to download the gigabytes of data under appropriate institutional review. Shown here is the same interface working at a different hospital system, different electronic medical record, namely the Beth Israel Hospital. This system relies on the I2B2 Hive, a translational toolkit, which has been adopted by over 18 academic health centers. It is free and open source software although there are several commercial enterprises which are deploying the software without any commercial attachment with the investigators of I2B2. We also are inviting members of our academic users group to extend this toolkit and we have implemented I2B2 as shown in this diagram at the Harvard Clinical Translational Science awarded center so that we can actually issue queries across multiple academic health centers. And in this instance, a query across four hospitals with three I2B2 instances. So as you will see, after authentication, a query can be composed, which goes against no single central centralized database, but a federated query which goes across these multiple I2B2 instances. Shown here, for example, is the selection of disorders of the digestive system that are inflammatory, such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And this is combined with uh, the gender selector of female. And this query is then run across these institutions. Multiple Servers have to be crossed in order to make sure that the various security barriers are preserved. Nonetheless, in a few seconds, you can see that there are approximately 3,000 patients per, uh, per I2B2 instance. Now that we've identified those patients who are female with inflammatory bowel disease, can we see how many of them also happen to have a neoplasm of the same gastrointestinal tract. This may be an interesting scientific research question and as you see after a few seconds this query completes and we see that across these three institutions there are less than 150 patients. Thank you very much and please don't hesitate to contact us by email.